Now, for trade apprentices in Australia, the last six months have been a very disruptive time, with many having their apprenticeships uh, put on hold. And Trades Women Australia is now implementing a national campaign to support women apprentices to find opportunities and to stay in their chosen career in the trades. Well, Fiona McDonald is the Managing Director of Trades Women Australia and she joins us now. Fiona, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, we know that COVID has impacted on women and young people the hardest with respect to employment. How has it impacted directly on the tradeswomen that you're involved with? Yes. So we've seen a number of apprentices across a number of different sectors, including automotive, building construction, civil and mining, being impacted in different ways during this pandemic. Uh, many of our automotive apprentices, unfortunately, are now either out of work or currently on JobKeeper, which is really concerning for us considering that the overall number of women represented in trades is currently less than 2% and it has been that way for decades. So right now it's so important that we do some work to keep women in these jobs. So you've launched a campaign to support the women called Operation Protect and Preserve. What's the desired outcome and what are you hoping to achieve with that? Yes, so we're really hoping to retain the women who are currently out of work or uh, have, are on JobKeeper and working less. Um, we're also really hoping to expand that support to other apprentices in different industries who over the coming months may or may not be further impacted by COVID. But also it's really important that we're putting out there that there are some really great opportunities in trades. And post-pandemic, part of the economic recovery, trades are going to play a very pivotal role and we are going to need more apprentices coming on board. And part of that process is bringing more women into the industry. I noticed one of the uh, points in this campaign, the last one is to look after yourself. There's a focus on mental health as well. Yeah, it's so important right now to be looking after yourself and being mindful. And, you know, we're all going through this together. It's such a tough experience and it's been such a tough transition for a lot of people who are used to working in very large crews on work sites. And now those work sites are getting smaller. There's a lot more restrictions out there. And sometimes you're often isolated and being sent to jobs on your own. So it's really important that we all stay connected and that we are all here to support each other. So mental health as part of Operation Protect and Preserve was one of our priorities. And over the next six to eight weeks, we're going to be launching a range of events and initiatives to just support those apprentices out there who are experiencing. I'm sure you're well aware when the government launched the Jobs Trainer Program, $1.5 billion in wages subsidies for apprentices and trainees, $500 million matched then by the states for retraining school leavers and job seekers. Has this gone any way to supporting that 2% of the network which you represent, the female tradespeople? Yes, definitely. And we are so grateful for the government shining a spotlight on this issue and supporting our apprentices. And I think it's really important that we continue that support. Uh, we have a national skills needs list here in Australia with 65 different jobs on it. And, you know, 63 of those jobs are male dominated. And like I said earlier, less than 2% of our workforce is women. So it's really pivotal that we keep those women in those jobs. And things like these stimulus packages are so important to helping us do that. What about the home builder grants that we saw the government offered? We saw ABS housing approvals fall to eight year lows uh, this week, which means fewer homes are being built, which means fewer jobs for tradies. Does that suggest it's not working? I think it is working and I think it'll just take some time to see it come into the market. Uh, we met we're earlier this month with our patron Susan Alberti and Michael Suka MP to discuss the housing grant initiative and it's a fantastic program that's really going to help keep our tradies in jobs, especially in construction and residential. When housing sales did slow down, we are slowly starting to see that impact on building now and I think that that homeowner grant has been pivotal to making sure that we have a workforce for the future. Just finally, uh, Fiona, what, what different skills does a female tradesperson bring to the job that is different to, say, a, a male uh, skill? I wouldn't say there's any difference. Uh, we're all equal and we're all the same. There is a common perception around trades that you do have to be 
stronger or you have to be able to do something in a certain way. That is completely untrue. Health and safety regulations these days require all workers to be considerate of their safety, and that includes mental health safety on work sites at the moment. Uh, just diversifying your workforce if you are an employer is so important to being competitive. I mean, if you bring a range of different people onto a work site, you'll have increased productivity through doing things differently. You'll also have increased health and safety across the work site as well because you're employing people who want to be there, who are there and they're aware of what's going on as well. So it's, yeah, it's really important to consider diversity if you are willing to expand and grow in this industry. Fiona, thanks so much uh, for joining us today. Fiona McDonald is the Managing Director of Tradeswomen Australia. Thank you. Thank you so much. And please jump onto our website and register for Operation Protect and Preserve to support the women in your life to consider trades. Thanks, Fiona.